Every movement we make, whether it's shaking someone's hand, or dancing, or lifting a weight, requires precise communication between our brain and muscles. However, damage to the brain, like a stroke, can disrupt that communication and hamper movement. Is it possible to restore mobility? Different areas of the brain control the movement of different parts of the body. Think about it like a remote control to a garage door. You need the right remote control to open the door. When a part of the brain is damaged by a stroke, it shuts down and it can't send signals to where it's supposed to, like a broken remote control. But other parts of the brain still function perfectly. The brain is actually very flexible and different parts can be trained to take on new functions. Could another still healthy part of the brain be trained to move that part of the body? In other words, can we create a new remote control? First, we need to be able to access the signals the brain sends during movement. It's possible to listen to those signals with advanced electrical sensors. When a signal is detected, it can be interpreted by a computer, which can then convert it into a command, such as moving a cursor. Similarly, when the part of the brain that controls hand movement sends a signal, the computer can record that signal and send a command to a device that helps the hand move. This is called brain-computer interface, or BCI. This is exactly what Jefferson researchers are testing in a stroke patient who has limited mobility in his left arm. They've implanted an electrode in the brain that sends signals to a robotic brace fitted around the patient's arm. They found that parts of the brain that were undamaged by the stroke can send signals when the patient is imagining movement in his limb. By imaging the patient's brain when he is thinking about movement, the researchers can create a map of those signals for movement. They can then use BCI to convert those signals to operate the robotic arm. The idea is that those imagined signals for movement will eventually become strong enough so that the healthy parts of the brain can take over movement of that body part. In other words, they can start to build their new remote control. BCI gives us a way to repair communication between the brain and muscles so that movement can be restored. This new study could change stroke patients' lives in the future. Mm -hmm.